Hello, 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 hello. Is the sound okay? I didn't, I didn't check it today. Which I know, rookie mistake, but uh, whatever. Richard, hello. Nathan, hello. Board clips, hello. Devin, welcome. I don't think I've seen you here before, so welcome, welcome, hello. Um, Tibbs, hello! I just finished Happy Genie Hero today, I was wondering if I should get the DLC. Guess the stream came out at the perfect time. Um, yeah, that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna check out the DLCs because we finished the game last week, so welcome! I hope I help you in being, uh, in having, a g in making decisions. <laughs> what was that? You would be cool if I could learn how to freaking speak! Um, hi Liz, we can hear you, sound seems fine, great, 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 great. Um, so yeah, no introduction, I guess, because we finished the game, there's nothing to introduce. Um, we are, I'm interested particularly in the DLC that, uh, has you playing as the, um, three ge uh, guest characters, no, secondary characters. Um, if that one is short enough, we will also check the Pirate Queen, I'm thinking. Because the other ones, I just think they're gonna be the exact same game. I think the other three, the Pyjama and the, oh, the four. Beach, Pyjama, Police, Ninja. All of the, oh, and there's Minion Mode as well. Jeez, there's so, there's so much, honestly. <laughs> there's just so much. I've been around before, but I missed most of the recent streams due to my new job. Oh, okay. In that case, welcome back instead of welcome. Hello. Um, sorry, I didn't recognize you before. I hope the job is at least going well. I hope you're doing good in the job. It's okay if you trip over your tongue. It's quite long. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Red Rodine, hi, Ellie. How's your day been? Um, good, 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 good. It's been good. Let's take the VGM off and jump straight into the game. Um, each one has its own story. The ninja and beach one are pretty tough. Every single one of them has their own story? We're not gonna do all of them on stream. We're not. Uh, but we are going to do friends to the end. I am very... Unless they're short. Unless they're short. If, oh my god, the loading screen with all the friends! Um, I'm... Am I gonna reread this entire dialogue? Because we saw it. We saw it already. He's gonna turn the machine on, it's gonna backfire because Risky messed with it. Oh my god. That entire scene we have to watch again. Alright. We have crystals up top. <clears throat> One is made of dark magic and the other made of light magic. When brought together, the crystals generate energy, which this machine collects and stores for future reuse. Huh? <laughs> I love a- oh no wait, this is a new dynamo! Alright, everyone's confused except us because we're smart. Um, he means it makes electricity. But what's the electricity used for, uncle? Why, to help you protect Scuttle Town, of course. We'll use this contraption to light up the town all day and night. 24 hours a day to keep pirates at bay. Gosh, you think this could really work? Of course it will. I follow the blueprints to the letter. No, this is exactly the same scene. Now it backs fire. Now Roddy Tubbs comes in with her ho ho ho. Look out. And then Shante goes evil, etc. We've been here. Let's go. Am I rushing? Maybe. I want to get through a lot of the DLC, honestly. <laughs> it's going good, thank you. I'm glad. Um, get to play as best boy now. No, should... Red, we don't say those things here. Red Rodine, come on. We don't compliment Bolo in this household. <laughs> Sorry to drop in and announce, but it's time I give you all a demonstration of my own. Keep your eyes on the half genie brat. I don't remember the music being this jazzy. Now that I'm past the initial shock... This music is pretty... Vibey! Oh lord! What is this? This music is a bit too sexy for the scene! <laughs> that seems like a sign of wealth, which would make the town more attractive to pirates. You know what? I don't think you're wrong! Oh my god! 
Who decided that this scene was gonna use this music? What did you do to her? Isn't it lovely? I inverted her magic. But the machine wasn't designed for such a purpose. How could... Fools, don't you see? You were building my machine all along. You inhuman fiend. You switched the blueprints on me. <laughs> don't look so glum. What you've built for me is so much better. You see... Let me handle this, Risky. I, I have... I have a better low Arara voice than you, okay? Um... I can turn anything I want from good into evil. I'm pretty sure the dialogues were slightly different before. You said sexy, right? I, I definitely said sexy, yeah, uh-huh, mm-hmm, 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 that's totally what I said. <laughs> Did you see might be worth it for the music alone? I mean, I, I haven't been super impressed with the music in this game compared to Pirate's Curse. But this track, this one is going to my freaking Spotify. <laughs> and my next target will be the biggest source of light magic in the entire world, the Genie Realm. No, do that and you will drown Sequinlan in utter darkness. <laughs> You're getting the picture. I'm off to destroy the world as you know it. Have fun with your ill-tempered Genie brat. Ta-ta! Yeah, of course you did. Uh, why, why, why wouldn't you believe me, guys? Why wouldn't you believe me? We can't let her go through it. We've got to do something. What can we do? <laughs> oh, this, this, this voice acting. Um, I know what you can do. You can suffer and squirm like the pathetic maggots you are. Whoa, and dormant forever in oblivion. Shante's turned pure evil. That's his voice. That's <laughs> that's what Bula sounds like. <laughs> Biggest plot twist in the entire game! I really thought he was supposed to sound like a jockey, kind of like douchey jock. I legitimately thought that. Wow. No. I was not Where's expecting that. That, 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 was, that was a twist! That was a twist for real! Louis, welcome! Hello! He sounds cute. He sounds better than he is. What in the world happened? I love that this is practically entirely voice acted. It's giving me quite a bit of a rest. Our magic must have overloaded her body. She'd be knocked unconscious. What do we do now? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we can't just leave her like this. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna keep doing my my the, my bolo voice because like. It's the only man voice I can do. <laughs> Bola was generic and even guy all along. I should have seen it coming. You're right. Now that you describe it like that, I think I should have seen it coming. <laughs> Warming up to him? Nope. Why isn't the whole game voice acted? It's a very good question. Maybe they only afforded it afterwards for the DLC? Or maybe it was like an afterthought? Just a moment. Perhaps we can use this opportunity to help Shantae before she wakes up. There, you see that? The dark magic that exploded out of her body. Some force is drawing it back in. Call me crazy, but I bet one of us could enter the vortex and try to rescue her from the inside. Assuming the good Shantae is trapped somewhere in there, one of us could make contact and bring her back. Mister, you're crazy. Even if it works, who knows what evil lurks inside her corrupted mind. If we provoke her, she could destroy us with a single thought. It's worth a shot. I'll go. Oh, that's more like it. Ugh, Bolo. <laughs> Sky is me. Sky is me. Ugh, Bolo, shut up. <laughs> Alicia, what's up? Hi, Retro to Modern! We are playing the DLC for Shantae today. Partial voice acting is the worst. Either voice act all or nothing. I kind of think that. And on, on one hand, it kind of allows you to know what the character sounds like, even if they couldn't afford full voice acting. On the other hand, it's like, it's like you're teasing me. Why? Why tease me, game? Just give me the whole thing. Um, no offense, Bolo, but we're trying to save her and not make things worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And I suppose you think you should go? Who died and made you boss, cow? <gasps> Roddy Top, Jesus! I. Mm. A zombie, no way. You're the last person Shante would want inside her brain. She liked me the most because I like her brain the most. Oh, that's solid logic there. That's solid logic, Roddy Tops. Stop it. Stop arguing you through your. You're going to. No. Wait! Yep. Yep. I didn't think that's how it happened. I thought they all had gathered together and made the decision to all go. But I guess... I guess... Literally everyone in this game sucks except for Sky. <laughs> um, maybe for the next games? Louis, there's only one game left, I think. Uh, I really hope it has more voice acting. Also, I need to try the Shante games anyways. I, I love them. I legitimately love them. If you play Oblivion, you can enjoy six voice actors doing an entire RPG. Damn! Six voice actors doing the entire thing! I'm here in spirit because I'm at work. Alright, Setsuna, welcome! Hi! Also, I hope your workday is going great. Um, damn, Roddy is savage! D Roddy's the worst! <laughs> Dang, Roddy's still the best girl though! No! Hello, Ellie! Hello, Astroman! How are you doing? Is this... Are we inside her mind? It looks like a storm. <sighs> More like a nightmare. Blast it all. Now I'm stuck out here by myself. What am I gonna do if she wakes up? Fend her off with a broom handle? <sighs> Sounds like you kids made it in anyways. Yes, we're here, inside Shante's mind. I call it the Nightmare Realm. Who cares what you call- Who ca- A bull! <laughs> Bolo, shut up! Who cares what you think? <laughs> so much <laughs> listen you've got to find Shante before it's too late right you can count on me you wait here I can handle this myself <laughs> she's so confident I love her no way hero stuff is my jam I'm going I say we split up <laughs> I say we split up you two slow pokes will just get in my way listen up you kids teamwork that's the only way you'll be able to help her by working together. Uh, <laughs> Trust these two numbskulls. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess. Oh my god, I love her lines. I wish I wish we got more voice. I wish we got more more voice acting. I know you can do it. May your bonds of friendship be strong as steel. Good luck. <laughs> Damn it, Bolo. Uh, it's optimism talking. Yeah, yeah. Selvi, did I say hello today to to to, 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 to you today? Welcome. <laughs> Damn it, Bolo. Bolo, big brain. Kevin, welcome. Hello. You completed the game, so you're playing the DLC. Yeah, I'm trying at least this part of the DLC, but there's too many things in the DLC, so I'm only gonna do like whatever I get to this stream, and then next next Friday we are changing games. Um, she's not wrong, I guess. She isn't. She isn't. They are numbskulls. Um... To survive Shanti's twisted memories, you three will need to work together as a team. First, let's learn about Bolo. Bolo can fire his spring claw to grab onto pegs. Use the spring claw by pressing... something. Holding up will aim the claw directly upwards. Once Bolo has latched onto the peg, he can swing around freely and jump off at any time. Go ahead, give it a shot. Yeah, this is this is the one. All right, good. Yay! <laughs> I like it. I like it. Bull can use his melee attack to destroy cracked blocks. Go ahead, smash his machine. All righty. <laughs> Wait, Bull is useful. Impressive. I I I know. I'm surprised as well. Uh, triangle. I figured it out instinctively. As long as I can remember them from from now, I'm gonna be fine. Bolo can grapple to both pegs and rings. When firing Bolo's spring claw, it will default to a forward angle. This makes it easy to get him swinging back and forth. Shorten or lengthen the chain by pressing up or down. With a longer chain, Bolo can jump a greater distance. Give it a try. Okay. Nope. 
Oh, delightful, delightful bolo pain. This is that that is going to just be delightful, honestly. Yeah. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Maybe I should be using the um... I can't aim it. I can't aim it. That's all right. That's all right. Maybe I should be using the the pads instead of the the direction pad instead of the joystick. Um, I just finished eating lunch right now. Good. So Bolo makes himself useful as for all. After all, finally. Um, remember, this is in Shante's mind. He's only useful in some. Next, let's learn about Roddy Tops. Roddy can throw her head through nightmare energy and similar barriers. Press and hold to put Roddy Tops in throw mode. Release to toss her head. She will reform anywhere her head safely lands. Try it out. <laughs> That's adorable. That's kind of really cute. Roddy Tops can throw her head at any angle to match the situation. Throw at fixed angle by using the pad. Or free aim using the joystick. Give it a shot. Okay, as long as it always shows me where it's aiming, I might be fine. Uh, whoa, that scream! Ten out of ten scream. I mean, it's it's hearing Bolo screaming in pain. I'm very I'm very satisfied with that. Use Roddy's head to uh, head toss to move through soft surfaces such as thin platforms. Please note that you can cancel a throw by pressing any available face button. Good luck! Can I not just jump? I'm sorry, can I- I can jump! What's the... Can I jump and toss? No, okay, cool. I also- I love when she- when she teleports. Look at her body, look at her body. Something literally just grabs her. Yeah, I legitimately don't... Anyways, something literally grabs her from, like, uh, like, those skeleton hands. That is so freaking cool. Nope. Alright. There we go. There we go. There we go. Is it sky time? Ellie's starting to like Rod Tops more and more, despite not liking her in the beginning. Such an amazing character development. She's growing on me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. She is, uh, she is growing on me. Finally, let's hear about Sky. Press Y to toss one of Sky's eggs. Press Y while the egg is airborne to hatch a hoverbird for Sky to stand on. Use this ability to jump across wide gaps. Go ahead and try it. We're just, we're just doing a blatant animal abuse over here. <laughs> When tossing eggs, Sky will default to a forward toss. However, holding up allows her to toss vertically. Remember that Sky Diverse platform will not disappear as long as she's standing on them. Go on and show off your vertical toss. Yeet the egg! Oh, that's too high. That's fine, that's fine. Oh! Oh, I have a, a soft landing! That's cute! Oh, no, I cracked the egg! Freak! I didn't mean to kill the bird! Sky can make longer jumps by using her friend Wrench as a glider. Jump and hold A to glide using Wrench. X, X, we're using X. Yay! Also, wasn't Wrench gigantic? Yeet the egg! Games and animal abuse, name a more iconic duo! <laughs> Teamwork is often the key to victory. Determine who's best for the job and put that hero to good use. Switch between heroes by pressing the bumpers. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's shorten it, get a bit more control. <laughs> okay, maybe that was too short. Maybe that was too short. Also, look at that, like, mana. <laughs> Frick! Damn it! Bird murder! I didn't do it on purpose! I didn't do it on purpose! It wasn't my intention! Sometimes two heroes will need to work together. 
Try making a hoverboard platform using Sky and have a different hero, right? That's what I was planning, bitch! Let me think for myself! Solve this puzzle and show off your teamwork? I was going to, but then you told me exactly what to do! That's kind of rude! Okay, no. Oh, hey! She has a melee attack! I hadn't even noticed! Oh, you're playing Lost Vikings! I don't know what Lost Vikings is. Also, look at this! Her melee attack is she dis <laughs> Her melee attack is she detaches her leg and just puts someone with it. I love it. Wait, what is guys? She throws a freaking She throws a freaking seagull? Sure. You know what? Whatever. One last thing. Listen closely. Each of you has a special move that consumes dream magic. Bolo can throw bouncing spike balls. Roddy Tops can regain health. Sky can summon protective birds that orbit her body. Try these moves out by pressing that one. Good luck and remember, use teamwork. Alright. <laughs> They're so. Those are so fluffy! Let me try them. Okay, cool. Woo! Alright. When risky boots attack. Don't, Don't you see? We're inside her mind, so it's only natural that we'd be experiencing her memories. So this is her brain, eh? Oh my god, please. Voice that I now I'm see now I'm humiliated about the voice that I've been using for your entire dialogues. If you had given me this voice acting earlier in the game, alright, I wouldn't have done a very like superficial volley girl accent for you. Now I feel like bad about it. Now I want you to just keep talking instead of me having to read the lines. Damn. Um. Oh, Blitz for game where you control three characters, each useful for different situations. I think uh, Trine 2 is the only game I play like that, but that one was made for like multiplayer and it showed because it was pretty boring to play alone. Seagulls are vicious, don't underestimate them. Oh, I'm not underestimating them. I'm just, I just think it's a bit weird. It was Blizzard's first game. It was released on the SNS, SNES, since, uh, sorry, I've never had consoles. I don't know how to read that. <laughs> there are three Vikings, each with a different ability and you can switch between them to solve puzzles. Sounds like uh, trying to. Bird shield, sounds uh, like a new robot master weapon for Mega Man 12. I love that heal animation. I'm concerned about that heal animation. Such torture, zombie cruelty. It's like going to an all-you-can-eat buffet without spoon. Let me think. After I dropped her off, Shante chased risky stinker vap crewmen all over town. I bet it was all the distractions so she could swap the blueprints without being seen. Oh, that makes sense. Then let's hurry up. If we're quick, maybe we can keep it from happening. Yeah, then everything will be back to normal. Numbskulls. This isn't time travel, you lame brains! Changing the outcome in here won't have any effect on the outside world. The point I'm trying to make is that we know where Shanti will be. Therefore, we can head her off uh, and force a confrontation. <laughs> Just leave the thinking to me, okay? Thank goodness we have Sky! Thank God we have Sky with us! What would we do without Sky? First shrine was a single prayer, I think. Uh, I I assume there was a first shrine, but I literally know nothing here's about it. Here's egg in your face. Did she just say here's egg in your face? Oh, that is beautiful. That. Okay, got it. You're not the kind of. You're not the kind of uh, person who's best suited for that kind of job. He yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. I legitimately love how Roddy Tops is like... Mm, oh, Sky. 
I legitimately love how Roddy Tops is just like, here, have my freaking leg. Oh. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. No. We we still throw an egg, but that's too high. We still throw an egg. That's still too high. We still throw a freaking egg. And then we throw our head, I think. No? Maybe? There we go! There we go, and now what? Do I throw my head again? A bit complicated, so I think I'll switch to Sky and do the platform again. Yeah, that's easier. Um, SNS Super Nintendo. Oh! I'm hatching a plan! Oh, I love that! I'm hatching a plan! That is what- how- how do I- how do I make sure that I can hear every single line in this entire game? That's- that's all I want right now. Right now I want to make sure that I'll be able to hear the entire uh, voice lines. What is that? The hell? You got a dream squid! You found a dream squid! Try collecting a lot of them! You never know what might happen! You never know what might happen! That was very, um... You don't need them to finish the game, but you will want to have them. Also, the music is a, a slightly remixed, isn't it? I feel like... Yep! Um. Yes, it's because most shield weapons in Mega Man always orbit around the player when they use it. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yoink! I don't know why we need 50 gems, but uh, apparently we need 50 gems. Oh, there's another dream squid! Boink! Now that I think about it, we don't have a lot of life. I've kind of gotten used to uh, Shante, who has quite a bit of it. Damn it! Oh god, freaking damn it! Uh, remember you can use the thumbstick. But you hate puns! I know, but that's not... Okay. There are puns that I like, and there are puns that I don't. And... It makes no sense. But I guess... I guess because that wasn't so much a pun, it was more like a... I, I don't know, in my mind that wasn't... That isn't counted, like, exactly as a pun. What is a mermaid doing here?! Oh, because it's Shanti's memories. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to be. Okay, I remember. I remember. Ooh! We are pretty... We are pretty damn hurt! Do I have an inventory? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is very bad! Whew. Um Roddy Top's giving you a leg up on the enemy. Oh that is smart, that is smart, that is smart. No freaking hell! Freaking hell! Oh she can crouch! Cool, 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 cool. We're gonna keep using her then. And then um do I have to? Do I have to use Bolo? Okay, sure, I'll use Bolo. I'll use Bolo, I'll use Sky, I'll... Oh, hey, I could use Sky, actually. I didn't need Roddy Tops back there. That would have been nice to know. Oh, no, that's a different... Um... You may need to get rid of the enemy first. Uh, in the normal... In the normal Shante, that enemy was unkillable. That's why I wasn't even trying. 
I wonder if it is uh, possible now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, in the other, like in the main game, those enemies, not something you can kill. Um, oh my god, I'm late. Sorry, I was busy playing on my Switch. Mishu, welcome! And also, of course, don't worry. If you want to be playing, just play. Don't worry about it. Um, also, you're not very late. We practically just started. Ah, get away from me! There we go. I don't even know if I needed to destroy that, actually, now that I think about it. Weird. Anyways. Yoink! I wonder if uh, every 50 gems is gonna give me a heart or something. Let's try. Let's try hitting that thing. Now that you guys mention it. No, yeah, that's, um... That's invulnerable. There's nothing we can do about that thing. Nice. Okay. Squid done. Now we just need to actually get through... Damn it. Damn it! Damn it! Okay. You can heal with Roddy. Oh my god! I completely forgot that! I completely forgot that! I am so dumb! I'm so sorry, you guys. I am so, so sorry. I totally could have healed. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this jump. But I'm like, I'm struggling, struggling, huh? Out of here, out of here. Die. Thank you. I I don't even need to be afraid of like hurting people because everyone is imaginary. Everyone is imaginary now. Damn it. I hate that we don't have any any sort of No I'm not quick enough with my reflexes to just go get that. Pro moves! The lag is in Lisa's brain! <laughs> yeah... Yeah... Indeed... Now we just need to lose all the gems! I'm sorry! Did I lose all of them? Jeez! Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh! Did I just lose the 13 gems that I had? Wait, are the gems important to like be able to heal and use the special items and stuff? Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. I do not like the sound of that. Hmm, this is gonna be a struggle. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be a struggle, maybe it won't. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's, maybe it's all right. Oh wow! Oh, oh wow! Oh damn, they really just uh, completely slow me down. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Is this what's killed me before? I think so. I think that is what killed me before. Cannonballs? I don't remember those in the original level. That's kinda cool. Can, do we have anything that damages more? Do we have anything that can do a little bit more damage? Um, it seems that the effects that enemies leave when you defeat them reminds me of the Smash Bro KO effects. I I wish I could see Bolo flying in the air being yeeted, but I don't think I will. No 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 no! no. Oh my god! 
I, I understand what the problem is, you guys. I understand what the problem is. The problem is I'm not jumping properly. I'm like letting go and uh, trying to immediately grab the, the other thing instead of just actually jumping to give myself altitude. Oh look, a heart, nice! There's a level counter above the gem, so it must uh, level the char the character up. Oh, oh! Seems like every character has separate gems counters. He just leveled up. You guys are right. So that means I should be kind of like uh, prioritizing, huh? Well, that was uh, pathetic. Seems like I should be like. Prioritizing. Who do we like better? Who do we think is a better character for the purposes of everything? This is this is so terrible. I hate that they told us like, oh yeah, these are uh, bird eggs that are totally like they totally have birds inside, but also they can just break. You can just break them, and um, and that's how it goes. And that's what happens with the... No, okay, we have three dream squids. What now? Hello, Ellie. Hello, Yasuko. Welcome. Um, you do more damage the more gems you have, if I remember correctly. Oh, more damage. In that case, I should prioritize whoever has the better attack. Who is, in my opinion, Sky. Because it's pretty. Woohoo! Damn, that was, that was quick. All right. Um, in that case, I think I prefer Sky. Only because um, her ability has a lot of range, and I appreciate that. I really appreciate the range. Also, she's the most comfortable to use. Like, sure, she's a little bit timed. But she is, uh, so far, the one that I find more, most comfortable movement-wise. Oh! Oh! Level down! God damn it! No! No! Man! Man! I didn't know I could lose levels! Nice! Alright, good. How many of them are they? Three per little stage. What does that mean? What does that mean? What are we supposed to get from there? Oh. Oh. Um. Hello, Yasuko, it's been a bit. I know that I already said hello, but how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, Roddy does the most damage, but has less range. Yeah, Roddy, like, don't get me wrong, Roddy's is amazing, but it's also very uncomfortable to use for uh, with the whole it's only melee thing. So... I think maybe let's get... Sky... I mean, it looks the same. Oh, I think now it has more range. I think it's even longer now than it was before. Okay, let's get Sky to the next level. And then maybe... Actually, I think with Roddy we might be able to reach that high. No, we're not. Okay. Okay, Sky it is. I wonder how much damage I do now. Oh, it's only two? Oh, but I guess I can throw a lot of them at the same time. I can like... Oh! I can like spam. Okay, if I didn't get stuck on one side, that would be very neato. Very cool. Can't save a genie without breaking a few eggs. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. We're getting, we're getting them back right now, ish. We are healing up. Nope, nope. That's not the button to heal up. This is the button to heal up. And now I guess we're just going, going for it, huh? I guess maybe we should try to heal up, uh, like uh, improve her, because. Five damage is not half bad. Five damage is quite good. 
And we don't really care about Bolo. <laughs> we don't really care about Bolo. Alright, almost there, almost there. Almost. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. Pretty sure with this we should be done. There we go! There we go! Okay, it still looks exactly the same. Bolo is the only one that has like an attack that changes uh, looks, I would say. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Everything is pretty serviceable anyways, but for like boss stages, I guess it's going to be better to have uh, a powered up Roddy Tops, I would think. Ninety-five out of hundred. Okay. Um, for grapple hook sections, your mistake is rushing. It's like Zelda. You have to ensure you can actually hit your target. Be slow about it and take your time, or don't. I'm not your boss. I'm just a guy. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure my mistake is that I'm not. Um, that I'm not jumping. I'm just like letting go. And obviously, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be, well, jumping. Oh yeah, six damage. Six damage is not bad at all. Six damage is uh is decent. It's not the best, but it's kind of decent. Got it. Got it. Uh, who are we doing, Roddy? Woo! Almost to level three. There we go. There we go. We can do this. Maybe... Oh, I missed a squid on that stage. Damn it. I hope they're not too important. Um, There's no point in referencing console games. She's never owned a console. Yeah, I've never owned a console. Except for... Um, isn't Shanty on the 3DS or Switch? No, it's also on Steam. Forgive my grammar. I don't personally play it. Oh, PC. Then um, take your time like in Minecraft. <laughs> take your time like in Minecraft. Um, yeah, I'm pretty bad at taking my time, but I I figured out I should start jumping at least. Here we are, and there Shantae Wait, isn't. Bird brain. <gasps> bird brain! I love, I, I'm really liking, I'm really, I mean, she, first of all, how dare you disrespect Sky? But second of all, that's a good insult for Sky. That is a really good insult for Sky. But I was so sure. This is the exact time and place where Shantae battled Risky Boots and took back the blueprint. Your theory's blown, Professor. Huh? Hold up, you two. You've, we've got company. And it's uh, Shantae. Placing my bed, it's actually... Oh, it's not Shantae. Queen of the Seven Seas. Okay. Is she talking to us? You dim-witted relic hunter uncle is always blah, 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 blah. I think we're relieving Shantae's adventure as Shantae. Come again. Don't you see she's helping us by leaving a trail of memories to follow? Or the opposite. She could be using her memories to wipe us out. We're gonna find out real quick because Risk is wrapping up her speech. Blah, blah, blah. Call it that. Men, lock and load. Let's give this brat a proper workout. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Let's go, Poop Toot! Tinker's Log, Risky Boots Recall. No, come on, it's the Toop! The. The. Oh, oh, what? I forgot the name already! It's the Toot Poop, right? Right? Okay, that is way too high, so I'm gonna have to rely on Sky pretty much entirely. God damn it! Oh no! I don't have any healing magic! I don't have any healing magic! I don't have any healing magic! That's cool! We can totally... Survive, is what I was gonna say. Obviously, I was wrong, but, um... I got Pirate's Curse from a second-hand shop last week. Was excited when I found it. It is my favorite so far. Uh, Pirate's Curse is my favorite so far. And uh, I would really like to have a physical copy of it. I would really have physical. I would really like to have physical copies of stuff because I really distrust the current 
system in which everything is kind of lent to you instead of you owning it. But, well, physical items deteriorate anyways as well, so I don't know, I don't know. But I still like being a collector, kind of, a little bit. Alright, uh, Sky. Sky, Egg. Egg, no! That was a good placement! No, it wasn't. Damn, what's... What am I supposed to... Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can you give me another bomb, please? Please, 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 same. No! Shantae, half genie hero. Can you guys believe that? Can you guys believe what I just did? <laughs> Physical copies mad expensive online. I would I'd see that. I see that. I definitely see that. Hello, Lost Meow, how are you doing? Yeah, 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 Queen of the Seven Seas, blah, 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 we're following her memory, she's guiding us or maybe trying to set a trap for us, etc, etc. This is actually going to have to use her brain for this one, she's doomed. I... I'm not gonna say you're wrong. I am going to say that I would like to think that I'll get through it, that I can be good enough. <gasps> Damn it! Please! Can you stop attacking me for one second? Thank you very much! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh my god! I can't do this on three hearts with this mechanics! I can't! I can't! This is not what I'm used to! We're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. Poop toot! Poop toot! It's the poop toot! It's the poop toot! Boom! Alright! Now we set up sky! Now we put a bird! Now we jump on the bird! God damn it, we fail! Now we are one level down! Okay! We spam the bird as much as humanly possible! Okay! And now we use Bolo! Bolo because we really don't care about his level. He's level one and we don't care. Okay. Oh, but we should have healed. We should have healed in the middle. God freaking damn it. Um, I got lucky to get a physical copy of Half Genie Hero physical. The rest I'll get digital. Uh, I have them all digital. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a heartwarming tangent. Um, not heartwarming and entirely, but uh, I actually have all of the Shantes because when I told one of my very few friends who, um, a friend couple actually, um, I told them, oh, damn it, no, not to that side, you brainless goddamn zombie, ah, I'm so annoyed at that, I can't even heal, I can't even heal, I can't even heal! <sighs> Anyways, yeah, one of my friend, uh, friends that knows... Uh, a couple of my friends who knows that I stream... Um, knew that I was interested in streaming this, uh, so for my last birthday... They, um, gifted me the whole set of games. Every single one. And I think that's really cute, and it makes me really happy. <gasps> please, 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 please. Okay. Shit! Damn it! 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 Okay. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Jesus! I don't even have enough energy to heal. I don't think I can get through this. Honestly. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, please, this has to be it. This has to be it because I don't know if I can survive another round. No! Okay, okay. her brain institutional awareness and reflexes oh well <laughs> well indeed quick question ellie you said in the previous stream of this game your brain lags how does that work i'm very dumb and it takes me like it takes me too long to coordinate what i know that i have to do and actually doing it with my hands i i can't really keep track or remember everything um so i end up like for example to know who I'll switch to? Like, I don't remember it well in the moment. So I have to look at the corner that says what character is next. Uh, and like, it's just it's just another way of saying I'm dumb. <laughs> sure, blame the zombie. I will. I will. Time to rage quit and move on to the next DLC. Um, should we do that actually? Should we try all the DLCs instead of staying with one of them? I don't think so, but you know what? You know what? If every single DLC has its own story and they all have new, brand new mechanics, this is something that I will enjoy on my off time. Kazu, welcome! Hello! First try, the rest didn't count. It was warming up! Thank you, Nev! <laughs> Thank you, Nev! <laughs> okay, we beat her. Now what? So you managed to get the upper hand, but you'll never save the half genie run from a fate worse than death. Huh? huh? So long. So long, <laughs> bugglers. Ho ho ho! Uh, don't see the point. We're already an hour in. Yeah, huh? good point. Was she talking directly to but us? You said she was just a memory. Oh yeah, voice acting. You, you mean she caught me staring? Of course you were staring. You. Of course you fucking... I hate him so much. Get it together. This could be the first of many memories. I say until we know what's going on, we keep moving forward. Right. Right? I guess so. Oh! Oh! Oh, I like those poses! I like those poses, particularly Skies. Who is just like, oh my god, I have to team up with this Jamos. Where are we? Another memory? Looks like it. I came here with Shante to find the missing maidens. See, that's me over there. Hey, guy, looking good. This is awesome. What am I saying? Something heroic? You're always leaving me out. I'm sick of farfing in your shadow. I should be the hero. Wow. <laughs> one hour on one DLC, one on the next. I guess we could kind of do that, but... Okay. It's bowl time! One hour into this DLC. Now, one hour of pirates? Queen? Question mark? Oh, I didn't. Wait a sec. There we go! You guys have exactly four minutes for the hour to be done! <laughs> Whoa! Let's go! If we follow this memory, we'll lead us to the next piece of the puzzle. Let's go, crybaby! Let's go! Come on! Come on, Polo! What? No funny line? No funny pun? Come on! Ronnie, I expected more from you! Are you pulling my leg? 
get it because she can pull her leg out and use it as a weapon. See? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, explode. Please, thank you. No, no, the slime girls. I cannot, sorry. It goes against my religion. I, I, I refuse. I refuse. Oh, I didn't know she'd see. I didn't know they could do that. Hi. No! Is she trying to wait for me? I don't want to hurt you. Damn it! Damn it! I really didn't want to hurt her, though. Okay, who are we going for? Level 3, level 2, level 1. Okay, yeah. Let's keep going with... Let's keep going with Roddy for the... Level <laughs> Jesus! I'm bad at this! Finally, slime girls! Oh, Dapper, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you later. The um the slime girls in this in this game are delightful. Okay, if I run rather quickly, also there's something down there. I don't know if I can get to it though. Can any of this uh characters swim? I don't I don't think so. How am I supposed to get down there? I don't have Shante's powers. How am I supposed to get down there? How am I supposed to grab that? That's bullshit! That's some bullshit! Um... Careful! Arrows hurt! Yeah, I know! Welcome, Dapper! How are you doing? None of them can swim! What am I supposed to do to get that egg uh, squid thing? Oh, we can heal! Thank goodness! Granted, that makes uh, that makes it so that I don't have any way of healing anymore, but, well, at least we can heal a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. Mm, no, thank you. Yeah, oh my god! You didn't even let me have the stupid level for a second, huh? All right, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. 96. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, wow. That was good. That was good. We're still gonna disregard it because I want all those gems. But that was good. That was a good swing. And now we do it again. We do it again and again and again and again and we fall. Okay. That's that's on me. That's on me really. That's my bad. Um saying recommended on the Discord. Please won't remember. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um Riley doesn't sink. She doesn't have to breathe. Right? I assume that at least one of them was gonna sink. If you want more slime girls, there's also a game called Lost Ruins uh, with a lot of slime girls. It's like a 2D platformer like this, is have more soul-esque in nature. I think I have it? Question mark, question mark? I think I have it. Um, Roddy is a corpse and corpses float. Good point. So anyways, I'm gonna listen to the stream and play a game. I shall not specify because I don't know if it's allowed. So this is where I stop chatting. So goodbye, kinda. Mishu, you can totally tell what you're what you're playing. A lot of a lot of uh, other games have been mentioned before, so don't worry about it. Oh god damn it! God damn it! I don't want to have to kill the slime girl, but now it's not gonna leave me alone. Yep, yep, yep. Saw that coming. Saw that coming. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We can. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. We can do this. Maybe. 
Maybe. Okay, maybe that was that was better before. Before we can we had done it. There we go. There we go. Nope. I'm pretty bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this, I think. I do believe I'm not the best. All right, let me check. What time is it? Yep. Let me check the pool. Let me check the pool. Oh, most of you would be okay with switching to the other DLC, which makes a lot of sense because this one uh, we're not going to be able to finish. So might as well stage select. Oh, nice! I can come back later and try to get all of the Dream Squids, whatever that is for. We're gonna quit it, we're gonna try the Pirate Queen DLC, and then, um, and then that's gonna be it for Half Teeny Hero. Where is... there we go! Pirate... Woo boy! Nah. I mean... Nah. Um. There are two sides to every story. Oh. Keijo, welcome. This is how it really happened. Welcome, Keijo. This is how it really happened. Interesting. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna read that again. I'm sorry, we're not gonna read that again. Everything was going exactly as planned. <laughs> Okay, all right. I should have expected this. I should have expected this. The color select is uh, just, uh, would you like the edge or the edge? Um, uh, another perfect heist. Oh, this is fully voice acted. And right as I say that, God damn it, stupid Shante, why did you do this to me? Loot, it's uh, it's very, very much to be expected with Shanti, honestly. <laughs> Those fools played right into my hands. Just imagine a machine that can invert Anything magic. Anything I want is mine for the taking. Anything I want is mine for the taking. All I need is do good or magic, and there's no greater source than that accursed genie realm. I will make their power my own. Then I will rule over all of Sequinland. True. <laughs> In this current form, the machine is much too weak for a task of this magnitude. We're going to need five components to get the job done. If I had them, I could upgrade the machine. Rip open the genie realm, corrupt its magic, and rule over everything. <laughs> oh, I love that it's kind of like more voice acted. <laughs> the dancing she-brat won't stay down for long. I'll have to finish her off for good this time. But first, I'll need those five components. And if I know those moronic barons of Sequinland, they'll have just the parts I need. Now, where should I search first? Oh! This is interesting! Okay, talk. You need a hint? I uh, don't really. I can just... Are you boys ready to set sail? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Oh, this is... Interesting. What stage do we want to do, you guys? Hypno Baron to, this, to see the slime girls and to fight the Hypno Baron? Do we want... I mean, actually, now that I said it, I kind of want the Hypno Baron. Because that's where the um, squid was last time. But maybe not. Maybe not. Staring respectfully. Is there a reason she's purple? I don't know. Maybe she has some sort of magic as well. I mean, this is clearly a world with zombies and magic and stuff. So, um, this is basically Risky Boots self-insert fun fiction. <laughs> Shante, a game with a ton of anime monster wipes is lewd. Absurd. Absurd. A game in which every single character wiggles their butt when they're crouching? Absurd! A game where we had a very, very, very deliberate uh, Princess Leia in the golden bikini uh, segment where every single female character had to use the golden armor bikini? Absurd! <laughs> Is that the same 
same bathtub from Pirate's Curse? Maybe. Maybe she just decided to reuse it. It's like, well, I already made it. I already have it here. I don't see why waste it. Uh, she's purple because she's evil. I guess. Alright, let's go Let's go to Baron's... Hypno Baron's castle. I want to go against Hypno Baron. Oh, I like that it's not the old man. Because the old man is good and he wouldn't help her. One of the component parts must be somewhere nearby. You men, fan out and find it. What's this? Do I sense hesitation? I'll show you cowards something so scary that even the worms fisting on your lifeless carcasses will have nightmares. Now move it. Okay, so change of plans. I'm gonna be chatting more. Why? I need a PlayStation controller to play Metal Gear Rising Revenge on PS now. And I left man on the bu on the bus? Did you lose it? Does that mean you lose you lost it? Also, I am so glad there aren't... Oh! I was gonna say I'm so glad there aren't any monster girls that I have to feel guilty for. But this... this these eyes are crying! That's so sad! That is so sad! Oh! F for Mishu. Yeah, for Mishu. I mean, I really hope you didn't lose it, lose it. Like, I really hope you didn't completely lost it. Oh, what the frick is that? What is that? Is this a mimic? It's not moving. Oh, it's not a mimic. All right, all right. Genie Crystal. Cool. Alrighty. Oh, I remember you. I remember you. Interesting to see you back here. That is interesting. Guys, do you remember this this lady? Do you remember this cow? I remember. I remember. We made quite a food. I got a corn dog. Oh! Did you guys see that death animation? Did you guys see that death animation? I gotta say, the sword, not a bad weapon. Kinda enjoying it. Juicy melon. I am sure that has no other significance other than just being a definitely innocent piece of uh, food. Um, no, losing it means I don't know where it is. The more appropriate term is uh, left it somewhere now inaccessible. I I just hope you didn't, like, leave it on a place of public access where people could just take it. Maybe that's what I should have said, I guess. You're not gonna taunt me like that. You're not gonna taunt me like that. I already know you. I already know your kin. I already killed many of you. What do you think, I'm scared? Of you and your armorless bikini mode? Come here, find me on your stupid swimsuit. You have no armor. You have no armor. Look at how scared I am of you. Oh no, what is the bathing suit lady gonna do? That, that is a slutty, slutty, lewd death, death animation, if I may say so. <laughs> I think the saddest part is the fact that they can't even look away as you strike them down mercilessly. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, not gonna lie. I feel, I feel a little bit guilty. You guys want to see another loot animation? Let's eat uh, one of these, I guess. Oh, look at this! Health scimitar. In this DLC, you can upgrade stuff, I guess? We'll need to find all 15 crystals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I was looking at the, at the inventory. I guess we can upgrade stuff in this one, huh? Alright, um, Devin, I think you have your answer. 
the DLC is a lot of content. Like, a lot of content. I think... I think if you like the game, um... This, it's probably a good... A good... I mean, I'm happy to have it. Let's just say. Let's just say I'm definitely happy to have it. Okay. Alright. Alrighty! I like that I'm not fighting monster girls in this one, because I can just kill everything mercilessly. It allows me a little bit... it allows me a little bit more, um... A cleaner conscience, let's just say. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to find the other thingies? Okay, I guess I can just come back to the stage later. Um, that was a scream full of pain and terror. She has a cool design. She does have a cool design, but also the design of the animation, though. You know what I mean? Oh, I remember this. I hated it. <laughs> the deserts are just fun of juicy melons. And you can definitely tell. You can definitely most that. Whoa! I. Wow, I was not expecting the gun to behave like this. Oh, because I changed the way it shoots without realizing. That's fine, that's fine. Well, the fun part is. Not dying, no, not dying. Um, it's either on the bus, which I don't remember taking it on the bus after carefully thinking, or it's at school, protected by my teacher who knows me well and knows it's mine. I really hope you recover it. I really hope you recover it. Um, I don't know how cheap or expensive they are in your area. I would definitely not enjoy the process of replacing mine if I had to. Uh, which happened once. Trying trying to play Celeste was a nightmare because the joystick was actually on its last leg. Do I actually have to kill you? I don't want to. I don't want to. We have food. We we have food. We can deal with the food. Am I supposed to go up? I'm thinking I have to go up so that I can hit this. Come on! And I have to do the entire stage again? Sure, sure. You know what? That's fine. I get to see the spider lady again, I guess. We'll just make sure that we have life before then. Um, I'm hoping school. Yeah, that would be the better the better option out of those two. Yeah, the DLC seem like a lot of extra. They are a lot of extra. I think you should. I think you should go for them. Yeah, she's gonna hit me every time. I don't care. It's fine. I don't care. It's fine. Let me jump! I don't... Oh! Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna change... We're gonna change strategy. As soon as we are close to that part of the... Of the platforming, we're gonna change to the, um... To the gun that has three shots. To the ammo that has, like, a wider aperture. And... That maybe allows us to shoot before getting on the platform so that I don't have to die like that again. Ah, uh, whatever! Whatever! Okay, this part, we're gonna shoot like this. Okay, there we go! No! <laughs> I sure am glad that that ended up fine. Okay, 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 okay. I'm running. I'm running like my life depended on running. I am going away. I'm not fighting any of you. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I am just 
trying to get through the platforms, and that's gonna end up poorly. God damn it! Um, I need to remember to buy a new PS1 USB adapter after this. Someone type it on Discord. Someone leave a reminder. Leave a reminder so that. Oh god damn it! Okay. Um, my friend wants to play to pay me 100 to eat the hottest pepper in the world. I think I might do it. How is your tolerance to spice? Because if it's not the best. I don't think you should. Yep, this part is gonna be complicated as fudge. Uh, you could end up in the hospital, not worth. That's what I mean. Um, if you if you if you don't know your own tolerance to spice, definitely don't. And only do it if you know for sure that you could handle it. Now. Timing. One moment. <gasps> How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to do that actually? Wait a take. How am I supposed to do that? Did I screw? No! Uh, can she glide with her hat? I don't think she can. No. No, she cannot. She can't. So the biggest issue now is how do I get to that eye? It. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the side. I'm doing it wrong. Am I not? Maybe I was too overzealous coming here first. It's just that I wanted to see Ammo Baron. I'm sorry, Squid Baron. God freaking damn it. Um, you know people can go into show from eating that pepper. Yeah, people can literally die from eating that pepper. I definitely wouldn't. Like, I definitely wouldn't. There are some things that are just not something you play with. And your health is definitely one of them. Okay, how do I get rid of that? No! I didn't know I could do it! No! Only when it disappears, stay still. The block reappears below you, so you get back on the block, then jump. Never mind. I'm sorry! I literally don't need anything spicy, and when I do eat flaming hot cheetos, it makes me tear up, so it's going to be rough. No, don't freaking do it. Don't do it. You could get severely injured, and this is not a joke. Like, don't, it's not worth it. You're gonna spend more money than the hundred on the hospital. Like, you're literally not going to make your money's worth. It's not worth it. Believe me, it's not worth it. No, my pepper! My pepper! I might have to kill this one. Oh no! Oh my god, that is so horrible! The way she dies is so horrible! I just need... I just need to hit that somehow. How does this shoot? How does this shoot? Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, shh. I'm dumb. I am stupid. Galaxy Brain Snake. No, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm... I'm so unbelievably... How, do you, how did you guys ever think that I was good at video games? How did you guys... Whoever said that I was good at video games? Retouch, you must be reevaluating now. You must be reevaluating your statement. Cause this is not, this is not a showcase of my best thinking skills, let's just say. Let's just say, I don't feel the smartest I've ever been. Um... Ellie being a great mummy snake as usual? I told you guys, I'm not a mummy! At most, a caring older sister, okay? At most. At most, I'm not mummy. Um, corn dog, nice. Juicy melons, nice. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I can take a two. I can take a two, it's fine. You guys are scaring me now. That's because you need to... Ish. Ish. That's because you need to put your health first. We are just really hoping that you're not gonna endanger yourself for... Something that's just not, not worth it, you know? We care. We care about you. As much as a stranger can care for a stranger online, of course, but still. Huh! Okay. Alright, I, I, I... I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do and then... No! Okay, okay, okay. Let them match up again. There. There. Why? I'm taking way too long. I'm taking way too long. There we go. There we go. I had it figured out. Please, 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 please. Okay. I really thought that was going to disappear on me. I was uh, a little bit scared. A little bit scared. Well, hello, lady. Oh, god damn. That was a four. That was a four. That was not the best. Yeah, we made it to... How do I make it up there? How do I make it up there? No! Hit the chest! Hit the goddamn chest! Okay, I'm guessing I may have some Metroidvania elements on this DLC as well. She just dissolved! Come on! It's still sad! If we never see more clips again, we'll know what happened. Yeah, I, yeah, don't do it. Anyways, I'm gonna go buy that pepper in the name of content. No! Dapper, you don't do it either! Jeez! You're just not looking at what you're doing. I'm... You have way too much faith in me! <laughs> not gonna lie, I wish Ellie was my older sister, but I am myself ancient, so she unfortunately will probably turn out as my younger sister. I can be your older sister in spirit. <laughs> You there! Oh no, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> you there, ghost in the rain poncho. I'm here to claim a component part for my machine. Obey my commands and spare yourself a world of pain. <laughs> the nefarious pirate risky boots. A creature possessed by dark magic. I have no intention of helping you. No, I've hungered endlessly for a chance to pit my evil against yours. Squid Baron, Squid Baron! Now here, in this theater of pain, we shall finally... Squid Baron! And me, Squid Baron! Fool, you're early! We're never going to get this right if you can't follow even the simplest of instructions. Um, real adventurers can be found in books. You two are a waste of my time. <laughs> Squid Baron, stay in school! <laughs> That's so cute! What the heck? I'm getting the... I'm getting this light hint that maybe I was supposed to do this DLC in the same order that I did the Shantae main game? Cause, um... It seems like I should already have other stuff in here, now that I think about it. Yeah! Oh, that was... Wow! That was a scream. That was a scream. I kid, I love spicy stuff, though. Uh, but don't do the spiciest. That, that could really get... That could really get messy. It's funny, because I brought that up to my friend, too. If I go to the hospital, the bill is going to be way more than what he paid me. Exactly! It's just not worth it. Yeah, I don't know if I can just do this ass... As risky. I don't know if that's a thing that can be done. I don't know if this can be done like this. Let's go back to let's go back to the bus tub and check out the main like the main street, the first map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, 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 listen. I want to give up on this fight. 
I'm very glad that I could see Squid Baron though. Really, really glad. Yep. We are leaving. Good boy. Remember you have the freshly discovered power slide? I do, but I don't even know how I did it, to be honest. Oh, oh, oh the little thingy! The last area was a child's play. No, no it wasn't. You went away. You gave up. You retreated, you coward. I say as if I wasn't making the decisions. <laughs> now then, let's have a closer look at this genie crystal, shall we? It seems to resonate near other forms of light magic. With enough of these, I can pinpoint the entrance to the genie realm. Those magical goody -two -sh goody goodies won't know what hit them. <laughs> now where should I go next? We are going to talk. Get the idea of a hand. I should pay the Hypno Baron's castle another visit. Am I really supposed to go there first? No, we're not. We're going to go here first. We're going to go here first and check it out. Um, and Gretaco, I I love him. I love him. It's funny because uh, okay. An attack on this backwater burg will prove the perfect destruction while I purloin the component part I need. <laughs> oh, her her laps are really good. They're really good. My men! How dare they start without me? I'll punish you, but good. Okay. Okay. That wasn't that was a set of lines. I like that. Am I really supposed to attack my men just because I'm like punish them? But like, why would they attack me? They are my minions. I know that I'm punishing them, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense that they would like fight back. You know what I mean? Like, I understand where the devs are coming from. They're like, oh no, what do we do? How do we solve this? The enemy in this area is the minions, so. We need a- Ooh, sushi! Tuna roll! Oh, I've never gotten to try a tuna roll. I would love to try a tuna roll. Tuna sounds like it's such a tasty kind of roll. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to shoot it from afar and then actually jump. Yeah, easily. There we go. You! You're my man! How dare you disrespect me! How dare you? This is what I pay you for? Are we assuming that Risky pays her minions? Or are they just like genetically engineered to do whatever I say? How dare you attack me on my own creatures? Disrespectful! Are you gonna fight Booktooth as Risky? I don't know! That's a very interesting... I don't know how to do that slide actually! How did I do it? Wait a sec, wait a sec. Guys, I legitimately don't know how to do that slide. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. I figured it out. When it happened, it happened by accident and I legitimately don't know how, how to properly do it. <laughs> Risky will punish your butt good. That's, uh, that's, uh, what she probably wanted to say. Rancid jam? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to eat rancid jam. Really? Dun, 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 dun. Ah, that's, this is a good track as well. This is a good track as well. It's not nearly as good as the, as the sexy, uh, saxophone one that we had on the, on the other DLC. But it's, it's a good track. It's a good track. I like it. Um. Oh, from this side, cool. Um, Risky will punish you back good- MUTINY! This is mutiny! How dare they? How dare they? I will make sure that they know who's in charge here. I'll make sure that they know who's paying the bills. And that's probably not me. I really- I legitimately don't think Risky is paying a single one of these creatures. You know what? They are right to stage a mutiny. It's, it's, it's bad that we are unfortunately playing as risky and we cannot tolerate it. But I, I support them. Damn it. I support them. Staging a mutiny. They're probably not getting paid. They probably don't have benefits. 
Uh, maybe this gun? Cool! What did that do? Oh! Okay! 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 There we go! That was probably a waste of all those bullets. But we're not using them that much anyways. I feel like I end up relying a lot more on the melee range options because I feel like they're a lot more powerful. But also there's there's definitely some metroidvania in to do here. Because how am I supposed to get to that chest without abilities, you know? I'm sure that... Tinkerbat. I'm sure that the Tinkerbat, this Tinkerbat thing here. I'm sure that this Tinkerbat here, or maybe the the Scimitar, or something. Something will allow me to actually jump higher. Something. I don't know. Um, good news. I just robbed the game stuff in my living room. This is a joke. I actually asked my mom and I have acquired a PS4 controller. Now I'll stop chatting. Okay, I'm glad that you could acquire a controller. Have fun. Have have yeah, have fun. Uh, they're all connected to the same thing. Okay, good, good, good. I see what I must do. I see what I must do. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, we can do it, no problem. Look at this, look at this dude. Look at this dude staging a mutiny against... How am I supposed to get there? This is, this is, this is confusing. Yeah, I, I legitimately can't waste my time on bullets. I don't care. I don't care enough. I know that the bullets are there. They're useful. But like, the sword does five damage. The bullet does one. In what world is that worth? What is this for? Wait, am I supposed to get Shanti's transformations or something? Cause like a lot of things just don't track without them. A lot of things are just not tracking right now. Seriously? Oh my god. Um, they get paid in fun service. <laughs> yeah, they get to watch your face. Would you guys? Would you guys really? Um consider that there's any creature that is okay being paid with just fun service to risk their lives time and time again against a very powerful genie with transformation powers and hair whipping powers and everything do, do, do you guys really think that's enough for anyone Especially considering that, uh, you know, Risky... Risky tailors to a very, very specific... Um, King? I don't know, I feel that she's very, very... Rude to them. I feel like she's very... Demeaning. Very demeaning, I feel. Sims will probably be okay with it. <laughs> oh my god! I would not risk my life for just some fun service. Listen, I have my characters that I would that I would definitely pay for fun service of, but like with my life. Talking about life, uh, <laughs> um, good enough reason to join the crew. Sly, chicken slide while crouching. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. See, you guys are so much smarter than me. <laughs> Why am I the one playing? I should do like Laplace and have you guys direct me like, <laughs> like a toy. <laughs> I just, well, it doesn't work on this game, of course. But did you guys see that clip? Freaking hilarious. 
All right, let's. Nope. Let's. There we go. This guy annoys me. He is right there on the most uncomfortable placement. All right, there we go. There's, I definitely feel like there's going to be at least one upgrade because a lot of things just don't don't make sense. A lot of things. Okay, slide. You guys were right. Use dark magic to upgrade your weapons, tools, and abilities. Okay. All right. So speed, damage, ammo. How about Tinker Batch? What does that mean? What does Tinker Bat mean? What does what does this? How do I activate it actually? Okay, Tinker Bats can be deployed at will. Upgrade this skill to send out more crewmen at one time and really cut through foes. How? How? Excuse me? I don't even have that ability! Sir? I don't even have that ability! How am I supposed to even activate it? I didn't get a tutorial! I didn't get a tutorial for this! Okay. Okay! <laughs> uh, definitely, people are sometimes incredibly stupid for people they think they're hot. If you're wondering why I'm still here, my PC needs to reboot now, so I decided to add another message. Um, by the time you're playing, we're gonna be uh, either fighting Poop Dude or done with the stream, because I'm pretty close to the end of the stream. Um, I just, I really want to make it to Poop Toot though. I want to make it to Poop Toot and see what that fight is like. Um, because, well, I'm guessing compared to, like, the Squid Baron looked exactly the same as how it did on the main game. So I'm guessing, it's just a guess, but I'm guessing that it's going to be the exact same kind of, like, thing. I wonder if I have to do something special to unlock, like, whatever abilities I'm missing. Also, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with you. I'm done with... How was it that tanky, though? Damn! Uh, do I need to get the dark magic again? Let's check. Let's check. Okay, we can use it on something else, since we don't know how to use the stupid Tinker Bats anyways. Let's use it on the Scimitar this time around. Let's use it on the Scimitar. Um, why did you even waste the magic? I assumed maybe it would tell me how to. Actually, I didn't understand what it was. I didn't read it before. <laughs> I didn't read it before. You can only hold so much ammo in your ammo strap. Why not upgrade it to increase capacity, pistol speed, pistol damage? Uh, the similar delivers high damage or close range. Mm, I think I'm going with health, actually. It's not like it matters too much because we just we just want to make it to poop toot. We just want to make it to poop toot. That is all. Okay, with that guy done, we might be able to finally survive this little passage here. Might being the key, the keyword. Because I keep, I keep getting one damage. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just take it. I'll tank it, and I'll just. That was a good. That was the good decision. That was a good decision. Tanking it like that was a good decision. I assume poop two is gonna be like. They even use my ship? Oh boy, here I go, killing again. I think so. Um, because like, again, if the Squid Baron was exactly the same, right? Like that was exactly the same as when Shante was here. Oh, that was a waste of ammo. That was a waste of the missile. It's such a waste. But that's fine. That's fine because we are right there, right next to Poop Toot. 
We are right next to Booktooth, so we are going to use pretty much as much ammo as as we need here. And then Booktooth, we're going to do pretty much entirely on melee. Just because the damage really is, like, insignificant with the guns. It's just not worth it, you know? Oh, also, those chests! That are very inaccessible. They might have... They might have dark magic. Normally, when you have something that's that... Um, something that is that hard to notice or hard to get is the thing that has a special... Special upgrade co co collectible. There we go. Time to fight Cool Toot. Um, Ellie, are you winning? Not really. <laughs> Pretty sure in every Shantae, Tasseltown ends up on fire. I don't remember. There you are. No one attacks until I give the orders. Got that? Nothing to say. Now you're just begging to be punished. Oh, it's just literally more punishment. No! Think about turncoats. They are definitely staging a mutiny against me. They are definitely staging a mutiny against me. Um, it is, however, although it is an entirely different storyline, it is definitely... Both DLCs so far have been pretty much the same game that we've already played. So I feel, I feel very confident in my statement that it's not really something I should do on stream. Like, I'm trying them out. I wanted to give this the goodbye it deserves. I've waited so long to play this specific Shantae, and I love Shantae a lot, so I wanted to give it the, the goodbye it deserves. However, it is definitely not something that I should play on stream, because it's pretty much the exact same game, just slightly different storylines. But, Devin, I would, I would recommend that you get it, because playing it is different than just, you know, watching it, streaming. Um, well, that was even more stupid than I expected. It was pretty silly. It was pretty silly. You dare me again. You'll loot and pillage under my orders. Got it. Shove off! I love that that's her battle cry. And don't leave without your captain! I'm... In my opinion... In my opinion... It's not even that they're trying to mutiny. They're just... They have one neuron. IMO. In my honest opinion... They're just dumb. You can't call it first time! I fought Poop Toot like three times by now! <laughs> Oh my god, you're playing the queen though! Rexy, welcome! Hi! Yeah, we were doing the DLC. Uh, we are going to stop now though, because uh, we did we did some of the DLC where you're playing a Sky Bolo and um, Roddy Tots, which was hard for me. I'm not gonna lie, it was very difficult. And now we tried a little bit of this one as well. Seems like every single DLC has like a very brand new set of mechanics. But the same stages and the same enemies, etc, etc. So in the end, I don't think it would be interesting to stream. But I will be playing it on my own, of course. In your honest opinion, indeed. I'll probably pick the DLC later since it's so, so similar to the base game. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna rush it either, but I will have it. Like, I still have to 100% the main game. Because I forgot that I didn't, I couldn't get that stupid last squid. Excellent. With this component in hand, I'll be able to make my dynamo even stronger. Here, here they come. Here they come. Is this for me? Use your hat to glide to the air. Oh. Wonderful. I'll put this pirate hat to the test right away. Keep those contraptions yeah, coming. Stop fooling around and man your stations. Oh, I love her voice lines. Oh! Oh, she has changed! Oh! Oh! 
You need a hit. Show me. If I power up my pistol's firing speed, I'd have no problems at all. That's your hint? That's your hint? It's gonna come eventually. Just chill, alright? Just chill. Um, but apparently, yeah, it is, it is as I thought. We're gonna get... Ooh, we're probably going to get exactly the same power sets as we did in the Pirate's Curse, which was my favorite game so far. So I would be very happy about that. Uh, bye, Kevin! I have to work now. Thank you for the stream. Just as always, I finish watching this video much later after finishing working. Don't worry, we are literally about to, like, finish the game. Because I don't think I can do another stage in, like, ten minutes. So I think I'm probably gonna cut it here. Um, you have like 15 minutes, you, you've lost like 15 minutes, 20 at most, so I hope you have a great day at work, thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, by the way, she's hot, yeah, the devs know what they're doing. <laughs> See, Kevin would fight for Risky! <laughs> Risky at the end of base game had the same attacks as, uh, as items in Pirate's Curse. That's why I'm thinking. No, actually, it's not why I'm thinking. I forgot that. Honestly, I forgot that. But, um, I'm thinking we're gonna get the exact same power set. Which means I need the cannon! Will I have the cannon? Will they have triple jump? I would, li I would like to have triple jump. I would really enjoy the triple jump. Just because she's in a bathroom, she's hot. I mean, she's hot regardless. But I think the difference, treated. And, uh, and this is what makes the difference for me, is that now she has her hair down. She has the long hair flowing. I, you know, I, I, I do think she looks better now. Bless the devs. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm not gonna make a poll. Just type yes or no. Do we go to another stage, even though we don't, probably we won't finish it? Do we try another stage or do we just uh, stop for now? Where to next? Or do we do we do do we just stop and then one out of seven? There are seven of those and I found one and there's something else. Holy shit! I'm probably not gonna finish the next stage if I go to one. That's why I'm saying like probably better if I just stop here. But probably save it for another day. It's just that I'm not gonna stream any more Shante. I'm just going to play the rest of Scream. Just wrap up an extra chat time. I think so too. Long hair does look nice on a woman. I like yours, Liz. Thank you. I like long hair. I really like long hair. Um, we're gonna chat. Yeah. Shantae. 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 Half genie hero. You've been a game. You've been a good game. You've been particularly interesting in the transformation area. Really enjoyed all of the monster girls. I do wish the Dryder had seen more use. We've talked about this before. I do I do wish we had seen um, more content, more um, stages designed for using the, the Dryder. That would have been cool. However, um, I still was very, very happy that I got her. Even if it was kind of uh, very unused. Um... Uh, I'm back. I'll stay since I caught the very end. Yeah, we're, 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 we're stopping because, like, I cannot get through another stage in the, like, 10, 15 minutes that we have. Um, so I'm just, I'm just going to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about or the game. Because, uh, now that we finished it, I can do my wrap-up thoughts. Now that we finished the, the DLCs, not, we didn't finish the DLCs. But we definitely know what the DLCs entail. Now, this game has a lot of content. But it somehow still feels... I wouldn't say that it feels shorter, because it definitely wasn't. But the fact that every single stage is super disconnected from the other ones, I guess, is what makes it feel a little bit... Um, yeah, it makes it feel feel shorter or less like lower scale I think um, in the end I preferred I preferred the pirate curse although in that one every stage was also separated because it was in islands but the fact that there was that little sign that said like 
stage ready and then stage clear, you know, like it's a very linear, you have this screen A, B, C and the boss fight, right? Or something like that. It felt like a little bit more, I would say Mario-like, but I've never actually fully played a Mario, so I think I would catch some hands if I said that. <laughs> um... Uh, I still think you should try out Gods and Goblins. It's sort of a proto-Metroidvania that came out a year before Metroid and Castlevania. Oh! Before the two big... Uh, the, before the two biggins that gave rise to the genre, even its, to its name. Have fun with the DLC in your off time, you culture lamb. Yeah, thank you! If I have any interesting... If I notice that it's very, like, interesting in some or another way, I might try to record parts of it and edit them together to not have an entire, like, replay of the game over and over <laughs> Um, since I missed the main game streams, what's your favorite Shantae transformation? I like the harpy heart, how broken it is. Idea-wise, the Drider. I really love the idea of the Drider, the spider girl, basically. But, um, fortunately, she was not properly, like, the game was not designed for her. I also really like, um, the idea of having a sonar, but instead of having one stage that is used for, I wish they had hid easter eggs on every single stage, or not every single stage, but throughout the game that you could only discover with the sonar. You know, to just give every single transformation some or another use, other than just, oh, you need them for one specific part and that's it. Because the Dryder very much felt like that, like you needed her for one or two things and that was it. And then after I got the Harpy, I didn't need her at all. So that's kind of annoying because she was really my favorite concept wise. But then uh, the harpy definitely is the most broken. I really liked using the harpy. And and since you didn't f since you didn't see the main game streams, you wouldn't know this. But I'm pretty sure everyone else will know this before I say it. Guys, what do you think my personal favorite transformation was? You have a couple of seconds. Uh, to answer while I read the three messages I have on stream. Uh, read it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, Tiberian, you pick up different weapons and stuff, but there's no backtracking. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, I'll ask a simple question. Have you ever played Hollow Knight? I'm asking because I beat the first ending today. I'm working on getting the true one as of now. I haven't played it, but I've seen it. I've seen playthroughs. I've seen, I've seen playthroughs by my friends. I've seen playthroughs by other VTubers. And uh, actually, uh, we had a Discord call at one point with like, I think there were four of my friends playing Path of Pain all at the same time, kind of like racing to see who finished it first. <laughs> one, of the, one of them, I found out the next day because like at one point I was like, I, everyone, it's been fun, but I am out, have fun. And then the next day I found out that the last person even though they had completely entirely lost the race, stayed up until like 4 a.m. to finish the Path of Pain. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a really good game. It's a really good game. Spider Girl is really cool conceptually, but you don't use it much. That's exactly what I think. The mouse, Harvey, Rider, Rat. <laughs> there you go. Uh, David, my favorite, my favorite was the rat. I can't explain it. It was, it just made me happy. It just gave me all of the happy feelings. Um, Path of Pain, where is this? What is this? I've only seen it in the achievement list. Um, the Path of Pain is... Where is it? It's... I don't really remember because I didn't play it myself. I just saw people playing it. I'm pretty sure it's in the castle of like the old king. I don't know how to access it. Um, but... Um, one, one little piece of advice for anyone who doesn't know about the Path of Pain and wants to do it. Have multiple saves, if you can, because once you complete the Path of Pain, you cannot do it again. So you probably want a game that you can just enter the Path of Pain if you want to do it again for some or another reason. 
And second thing, just be ready. It's not called the Path of Pain for nothing. Oh, the BTM, God damn it! nobody told me. Hey, I remember by myself. Look at that, look at that. Um, but yeah, the Path of Pain is very difficult, very difficult. I, just by seeing it, I struggled. Just, just watching it. <laughs> if I had to play it, I would probably die. Uh, out of frustration, I would probably just hit my head against the wall. But uh, it's it's intense. It's intense. I'm sure you like Rabbi Ribi, Rabbi Rabbi Ribi, Rabbi Ribi. I don't know. I've seen it. I've seen the cover art for sure. Uh, I haven't seen enough of the game. Like, of course, if I wanted to play, I would try to go into it as blind as possible. But at the same time, I do have to watch a little bit of it. Just. Mechanics wise, I need to see what it looks like gameplay wise, you know um, White palace is a secret detour. Oh, I was right. That's like the king castle, right? The, the castle of the king of the old king um, Path of pain is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, it is. It is uh, Five bolts grandma. What are you doing here? Well, hello five bolts. I gotta say this is a new one Nobody has called me grandma before nobody had ever called me grandma before <laughs> However, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me just, uh, give me one second. Give me one second, because I can't, I can't, I can't let that just, just go. You know, I can't, I can't just pretend that didn't happen. There we go! What are you doing here, Sonny? What what are you doing here? B -b 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 Billy Volt. <laughs> um Um Rabbit Ruby would be a uh, fun stream, would it? Do you guys think so? I never found Path of Pain, but I'd give it a shot. It's I you're warned, it's very painful. Grandma Snake, I uh, screw it. I have to do the white palace anyways for the king charm. Might as well stop avoiding it. Anyways, next question. What will you be playing next? Uh, Fridays, for now, it's going to become the slot of Mighty Goose. Let me see if I can pull up a picture so you guys can see it. Uh, we are... I had this... I had this thumbnail prepared for the last three months. I don't know. Intense. I I'm not going to show you the the thunder right now. I'm just I'm just showing you the the game. Oh, and it disappeared. I hope you enjoyed what you saw because it's gone now. I don't even know where it is. Where where did it go? Where did it go? It was right here. Wait. Okay. What is going on? Why is it deleting it? That is so weird. Okay. Uh -huh. I hope you I have I hope you had a good look at it. I hope you had a good look at it because it's not staying and I'm not gonna save it on my computer just for that. Ugh, ugh. I'm I'm guessing it's going into the temporary files and getting immediately deleted. Um, I don't know, but I'm not, you know, you know what? I don't. <laughs> Charlie, welcome. Hello. I don't think I've seen you here before, but uh, welcome. Welcome. We are wrapping up the stream for today. If you've never been here, hello. Um... I've beaten Familiars in DMC 5 as Virgil on hard difficulty without using the Golden Orb while beating ch checkpoint at 4 bars of health. I can trial and error through anything. Just, as long as you're prepared. As long as you're prepared, just know that it's it's not called the Path of Pain for nothing. Uh, tanks and Goose sign me up! It looks fun. I'm gonna say it looks very fun. And the name of it is fun, and the concept is... I mean... Listen, I played Untitled, Untitled Goose Game, and it was one of the best games of that year. So, anything with geese already, like, has a little spot in my heart. 
Um, Robbie Ribby has great music and is pretty creative, so a bit of like Chante. The bosses are bullet hells, though. Ooh, bullet hells. I'm really bad with those. Uh, yes, it looked interesting for the 0 0.05 of a second I saw it. Well, you can Google it as well, but uh, that's that's what you get. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, this was not something I prepared for, so I was just impulse showing you. <laughs> have you played Donkey Kong 64 to 101 percent? I have not played Donkey Kong 64 because I've never had a Nintendo console. I've never had any consoles until I got a PlayStation 4 a few years ago, and that's the only console I have any experience with. Um, she doesn't do console games, she doesn't own one, unfortunately. I own one now, I own a, um, second-hand uh, PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, every single game that I have for the PlayStation 4, that, uh, the people who sold it to me, they also, like, gave me, uh, like, a couple of games for it. Unfortunately, every single one of those games is also available for PC, and so I end up playing them on PC. <laughs> so, you know, it's unfortunate, but yeah, I don't have console experience. I have access to a Nintendo Switch if I wanted it. If I wanted it, I could ask for a Nintendo Switch, but it's not mine, and also, so I would kind of like limit my time with it, and also, if I wanted to stream anything in the Switch, I would have to get like a capture card or something, and I, uh, it, that sounds very expensive, so... <laughs> um, bullet hell, not that much, it's more about learning the patterns, normal is easy enough. I'm really bad at bullet hells. Actually, I kind of want to play something, but I don't know if it's considered a bullet hell. Does anyone know Savant the Ascent? The Ascent? I've played it already. I've played it two or three times, but I kind of want to do a stream or two of it the next time that we have a like a buffer between Friday games. Um, this time it's Mighty Goose. Then after that it's Shantae. Then after that I would like to play a couple of. Uh, do the same thing we did last time, basically. A couple of games that take maybe two streams. Um, and one of them, one of those, I kind of want to do Savant The Ascent. I already played it. I played it like three times. But it's been a while. And also, I think having played it is better for this particular kind of game. If you know it, would you consider it a bullet hell? I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm a fight sound downer in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance by Ali. Goodbye, Michu. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck on your game. Good luck on that fight. And kick, kick his ass. I don't know sound downer, who sound downer is, but kick their ass. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> At least a true gamer. Why would you call me that? I'm so bad against. Don't give anyone false expectations. Don't give anyone false expectations of my skills. Um, there's something called emulation, but I think, I mean, isn't it illegal? Wouldn't I get into a bazillion tons of troubles if I tried to do something like emulation? I just, I'm not going to pretend that I, that I'm not scared of something like that. It, it, it sounds. If it's illegal, my boy, I couldn't do it, you know? I couldn't do it. Um, it's okay, it's a well-known fact that PS4 has no games. <laughs> Maybe that's why they sold it to me, huh? Um, not being mean, that's pirating, that's what I mean. Will you be doing friends to the end? Uh, why are shanty bows easy? Uh, I think shanty bosses were quite easy, but I'm better at bosses. I'm better at boss fights than I am at the platforming sections. That's like just an indomitable truth of my skill set. Uh, I don't know why, it's just that much easier for me. Can't get in trouble if you don't get caught. Luella, welcome. Hi, but also... Uh, what do you mean if you don't get caught? 
This is a live stream. Anyone can see it. It's also archived on my YouTube channel. What do you mean don't get caught? The evidence would be right there if I ever wanted to try something like that. I'm not that brave. My uh, my apologies, but like I I I'm not interested in brushing with the law in that way. No interest in getting myself into that kind of trouble. Will you be doing Friends to the End? Friends to the End is that the name of the DLC that I was just playing at the very beginning? Because uh, we're done with Shante. We are done. Uh, we were trying the DLCs for this stream because I wanted to try them out on stream, but. Replaying the entire game doesn't sound interesting as stream content. I personally would feel very stressed and frustrated of um, having to do the entire thing again and, and having you guys watch me do things that I practically already did. So, yeah. Um, you would have to buy one of those three-handed controllers to play N64 games? What does that mean? Three-handed controllers. I don't, I don't, I don't think I know what a controller for the N64 looks like. I don't think so. You aren't allowed to use emulation on YouTube, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's playing with fire, basically. The idea of, like, playing an emulation is like, oh, you live the risky life, huh? You live on the edge, huh? Like, I would not, I couldn't. Uh, you mean the PS Vita? Do I mean the PS Vita? I don't know. Uh, where it is, the Switch is getting a Game Boy emulator. An official one? Like a legal one? Because I'm confused about what we're talking right now. <laughs> um, can't get in trouble if you stream it on a decentralized platform instead. Oh, you mean on like a Discord or stuff when it doesn't, where it doesn't get archived or anything like that? I don't know. I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't want to risk it. It's 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 a serious thing that could have serious consequences. People people everywhere online are really aware of how heavy, let's say, how heavy Nintendo can get. And let's just say, I'm not fond of playing with fire. Um. PS4 has some games, the PS Vita has no games. Oh, I... Unfortunately, what I do know about the PS Vita is that it has quite a few Otome games that I'm interested in. So I've always looked at the PS Vita with jealousy of those that had it because it's like... That Otome looks very nice and, I, and I'll never be able to play it because it's just for the PS Vita. Bah. <laughs> But then again, most otomes, like 90% of otomes are on Japanese, and I don't know how to read Japanese, so whatever. Oh, by the way, would you guys ever be interested in Japanese-specific, like, learning streams? I think if I'm ever going to learn, I'm going to have to force myself to do it. Just like when Yomi said, I made a stream cleaning my kitchen so that I would force myself to clean. I think... If I ever want to actually study Japanese, I might have to force myself to do it as content so that I can do it. Tell me if you guys would be interested in that. I have a couple of games uh, that are like Japanese learning games. Uh, emulation is technically not illegal as long as you have the game disc legally and the BIOS of the console legally, but there are many streamers who play games emulated. I'm gonna be honest, even if there are, I wouldn't want to because I'm I'm not gonna say I'm a coward. I think everyone should be careful about this kind of things. But maybe bigger streamers can like be a little bit more adventurous with that because they can afford a lawyer. I cannot. If if something happened, I would be kinda like completely screwed if I have got into any legal feeds, feuds and stuff. Um, check out the last Shante game. Uh, next up, the last Shante game. Indeed, next up is the last one. But uh, first, we're gonna do a buffer game. We're gonna do Mighty Goose, and then after that, we're gonna do Shante on Fridays. Uh, look up N64 controller, and you'll understand. N64 controller. Oh, that's. I've 
seen this before. It looks so weird. It looks so weird. It looks so uncomfortable. Who designed this? Who thought this was a good idea? How do you even play that? How are you supposed to maneuver your hands? I'm sorry? How are you supposed to use it? What is that? Huh. Uh, by the way, what is your favorite Shante character aside from Shante herself and the bosses? Um, my favorite is Squid Baron, then after that, Sky. Then after that, uh, maybe Shante, but I would have to think about it. Unless you're also counting the Monster Girls. In which case, I can't answer that now. I have to make a long, hard... I had to take a long, hard look inside myself and figure that out. Oh, come on! <laughs> Officer Hot Pants, hello! I'm so sorry! You keep getting here at the end! I'm so sorry! Um, no, Discord is still centralized in USA. Oh, what is a decentralized platform then? Don't think YouTube has an explicit policy against emulation. I think it's fine as long as you own the game you're emulating, but uh, it's worth looking into. I don't think it is. And listen, listen, this is why, this is why. I have so many games that I could play. I don't only have my library. I have some friends who know that I stream and um, very graciously, they also um, lend me their libraries. So I have a ton of games. I have my games, I have one, two, three, I have four friends who know that I stream and who lend me their libraries. I have access to like my library and four others. So I don't need emulation. I have so much to do. <laughs> um, a decentralized platform isn't based in any country. No country can legally apply their copyright rules to it. Is there such a platform? Bust up cleaning stream, you promised you're a yummy stream win! I still don't have a dual camera setup. I still don't have a dual camera setup, so I still cannot do that. Um, Japanese will take several years to learn. Yeah, but I could get started. I could get started. That could be good. The frick that you just wrote, Rexy. I don't know what that is. If I had to take a wild guess, and this is from, like, I tried studying some kana years ago, and I don't remember any of it. I would say the first one might be... Ke? The second one might be... Ho? And then the third one might be Ni? But I think I'm getting all of those wrong. Um, dwelling on Japanese stream? Does any of us trust Duolingo? Does, ever, does anyone trust Duolingo? I might, like, I'm going to do Duolingo for... Like, I'm going to do Duolingo for some Roman languages. Romance languages. I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to try Duolingo. In fact, I'm going to try it rather soon. Mm, I don't know if next week or the other one. But I'm going to do, like, an Italian Duolingo stream, for example. Um, but I don't trust it for languages that have a very different grammatical structure i do not trust it because duolingo is very well known for having piss poor grammatical rule explaining <laughs> and i really need grammar personally i'm i'm someone who really needs to understand the grammar to actually feel like they are understanding a language ellie gets busted next stream streaming prison architect from an actual prison <laughs> Um, Nintendo has done everything it can to fight against emulators, but as far as I know, it hasn't managed to shut down emulators themselves down, only ROM downloading sites. So I'm pretty sure they're illegal. I still wouldn't want to risk it, honestly. Um, more like playing the escape, the, the escapist. Shante tier list when? When I finish all the Shantes. As soon as I'm done with the last Shante, last Shante stream, I'm doing like one entire stream that is like, Shante tier listing. Every monster, every character, uh, every, I don't know, costume, whatever. We're doing Shante tier list as soon as I'm done with all the games. I need to have all the information. I need to have a very informed decision of how I'm tier ranking. 
The idea was that you would place your hands in different locations for different games. That's a terrible idea. That control looks awful and I hate it. <laughs> this is my cell. It's not nearly this large in real life. <laughs> Doing a cell tour. Um, he wrote... Oh, yeah. Why don't you put those uh, extremely, extremely advanced kanjis in there to make it worse? <laughs> How am I supposed to know what that says? Not me just opening the bill and copy pasting it. I'm not doing that. I'm totally reading this off of my own knowledge. Oh, it says Japanese. Cool. <laughs> Next week, Ellie learns Latin and conquers the Gauls. Um, Latin is such an interesting thing to learn. It's kind of useless because it's a dead language. And I'm most interested in being able to communicate with more people. That's my main like impulse. Be to, like for trying to learn a language but um, it, there's something about dead languages that makes you go like hmm I, it would be really cool to be able to know it or like fantasy languages where only an absurdly small amount of people know it and it's always because of like purposefully choosing to be dead honest you can't learn a language with only Duolingo I mean I'm pretty sure me and a lot of other people would be fine with learning a language up until a basic conversational level because it's again it's about being able to communicate with people if someone is trying to communicate with you and they can tell that you don't have a lot of knowledge on the language uh, most people will try hard to try and get you know an understanding going um and i really appreciate that i really appreciate that um, Latin learning would be fun. You can understand what it's like for us to learn Spanish. I don't know if it would be that comparable. I don't know if there are many like Latin roots that are still valid. I don't, I don't know how to explain this, but like my language comes from Latin, right? And like for every person who knows how to speak Spanish, Speaking with people who speak Italian and speaking with people who speak Portuguese is kind of like achievable, even if we all use our own languages. So I'm guessing the Latin roots are strong enough. I don't know how hard it would be. I'm not saying it wouldn't be hard. It would be very incredibly hard, but I'm not, I'm not, I think it would be very different for a romance language speaker to learn Latin than from an Anglo-Saxon speaking language to speak to learn a Latin based language. That was so confusing to say. I probably uh, confused everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was a messy sentence, but I hope it was at least a little bit understandable. Um, tips is right, things for cleaning it up. Latin learning will be fun. Latin is still the official language of Vatican City. Is it? Really? Klingon learning stream win? <laughs> Why Klingon? Why not Elvish? Elvish sounds more interesting to me. From Tolkien? I would like to be able to speak with elves. Um, over half of English is Latin based. Latin is a lot more heavily inflicted in inflicted than the languages that develop that develop from it. Really? I would have assumed the Anglo-Saxon languages had a, a different a different base. Wookie learning stream when? You know, I don't think my throat can do those sounds. No, not throat. It's it sounds like it's more like something you do with your mouth. With your oh yeah, it sounds like something just now trying to silently make the the position in the like tongue and throat that I think people use for that. It sounds like it's a sound that comes from the tongue control and the back of the throat, the back of the soft palate. I don't think I can do that. I legitimately don't think I can do that. Um, he said I didn't expect him to die so soon. You got it! Hey, congrats! Congratulations in beating, um... Sundowner? Sunset guy? 
I remember something about Sun for the name. So, I'm gonna go with Sundowner. <laughs> Um, going on stream when? No, Elvish! Uh, if, if I were to do a fantasy language, I would do Elvish, or I would, or I, or I would do Navi. Um, I know, I know, Avatar is a bad movie, blah blah blah, Avatar 2 has been announced and been supposedly coming for 15 years, blah blah blah. But I really think, uh, I really think there's something interesting about Navi as a language. Um, English is a language that mocks other languages in bad guys for spare words. <laughs> okay, in that case, it's about time you guys start incorporating words like merienda and um, sobremesa. And uh, what other cool words are? Oh, no, I'll say this until the end of my days. I don't care. It's time you guys start calling um, umbrellas. Although that makes sense because you call them, you call, you call what we call sombrilla, you call it parasol, which it's like, it's literally just a Spanish word, but pronounced weird. I think instead of call, being called parasol, it should be called sombrella. Like it's an umbrella that you use for the sun and I'll die on this hill. Okay. I will. Uh, Sundowner, you were right! Nice! If you ever hear Klingon, you'd understand why it would be so amusing to hear it coming from a cute pink anime girl! Okay! You know what? In the next chatting, free chatting stream... I don't know when it's gonna happen, but in the next free chatting stream, if anyone reminds me of it, we could do, like, me reacting to what the hell Klingon sounds like, and then trying to phonetically copy a clip. I, I could do that. I'm not gonna commit to learning it, but I could do that. Sundowner is a wimp once you get through his shield. I don't know who Sundowner is, but congratulations on killing him. Uh, I think over 60% of English comes from Romance languages. I'll find the exact number I'm posting on Discord. Damn, that much? I want to hear her sing along to Never Gonna Give You Up in Klingon. It's real, look it up. Okay, next time we do a free chat, someone please remind me to react to that, <laughs> please. Avatar wasn't bad, what the fuck? Um, Avatar was really good. We're talking about the movie, not the, the show. The show is amazing. We're talking about the Blue Alien movie. Avatar was a good visual spectacle, but as a movie, it kind of copies other movies without adding much. Like, it, there's not a lot plot-wise good about it, it's very cliche, it's very like we've seen this a million times, it's very don't really stop to think about this and what it actually like the line between the lines like the subtext of it or what the subtext could be interpreted as. It's just, you know, but visually it's beautiful and I really appreciate it for that. I mean calling it bad is a bit of an overstatement. I just think it's like it's very good visually, but I think if you think about some of the plot points too hard and you actually start like pointing down all of the cliches, it's kind of, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. And I mean, maybe, maybe I think of it worse because I know just how much better it could have been. There's this wonderful essay about the music of Avatar and about how it was going to be this amazing completely out of this world kind of soundscape that they were creating. They were creating a sound that was literally not of this earth. They were creating things that were going to be never heard before. And then the, the producers were like, this sounds too strange. We want it to sound exotic, but like recognizable exotic, you know? Um, so just make it sound like these other very real cultures that have nothing to do with, you know, it's just, they went with the easy cliche, with the problematic cliche, instead of doing the things that were already in development. Um, and just maybe that models my opinion of it even more. It could have been so great, but 
in the end, it, it ended up being very cliche and very like, let's not take risks, which, eh. Um, after the last Airbender movie is the bad one. <laughs> no, that one doesn't even exist, okay? Let's get one thing straight. That movie does not exist. I will say the words, but I will never do the accent because I like the look of pain on your faces when I say them. What words? Oh, like in a different language? You should start calling umbrellas bomber shoots. Bomber shoots? In Polish, there's a word called macaronism, pastaism, or something like that, where you use words directly from other languages in your normal speech. Oh, I do that all the time. I do that all the time. I love doing that. Like, if you ever hear me mispronouncing a word in English horribly, like, horribly, not spinach, where I didn't know, sorry, spinach, where I didn't know that that was the correct pronunciation, because in my mind it sounds better as spinach. Um, but when I pronounce the word horribly wrong, it's probably because I got used to doing it on purpose. Um, ah, a true aristocrat. I, aristocrat, I, I see. Aristocrat? How? Why? What do I mean? That's a long wrap up. Yeah, it is. It's been a long time. So I think we should wrap up now. That's called code switching in English, I think. Code switching. Uh, like, pronouncing a, a word badly? Like... I wish I could remember right now what words I use on my day-to-day -day life that, uh, that I... that I mispronounce on purpose. I don't know. I don't know. Right now I can't remember. I know code switching is a psychology term. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I don't know it at all. No thoughts going through this head. I'm like code switching. Yeah, that's those are two words. Those are two words, and it definitely must mean something. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Using words from other languages. Oh. I don't get it. Using words in other languages in a specific context? Because using words from other languages, if you're speaking that language, is just literally speaking that language. Using words from other languages in the middle of a sentence? Like saying, oh, I'm gonna speak Spanglish right now. I'm just gonna like keep talking until I figure, uh, until I get to a point in the, in the phrase that it would be more comfortable to say in Spanish. So I'll, I'm gonna keep talking in Espanol because like, uh, it's más fácil, you know? Like, is that? Code switching? Just finish. I allegedly mispronounced Kono on purpose because in no universe is Kolo pronounced Ker. Oh yeah, the whole um, Kernel joke, I didn't get it for the longest time. Cause um, I just thought it was like Kernel. Like, yeah, I'm still pronouncing the L like an R, but I would still pronounce it coronal, you know? Uh, but I understand how it kind of like ends up uh, a little bit more... I don't know, God, English is so freaking weird in pronunciation, uh, in the pronunciation sense. It is so weird. Uh, yes, that is code switching. Oh, okay, I got it! Yay! I got it! I got it! Anyways. Oh, this was a long wrap up. I'm very sorry. It just... It's been a while since we've done a free a free chatting stream and it feels good. It feels good. I miss it. I like chatting with you guys. So, let's stop it for now. I'll see y'all on Monday. Oh goodness. Right. New new natural new normal in this channel. I'll see you on Monday, not on Tuesday. I have to decide what I'm going to play. I've got to decide what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll see you on Monday, everyone! I hope you have a good rest of your day, whatever you're doing after this. Code switch is when you flip that little switch in your game shark. <laughs> in your game shark! Now you have four streams a week, you can make just chatting streams more often. I, yeah, that's the intention. The intention is like, okay, if I have four streams a week, I could do... Like, some weeks I could do... Um more games if I really 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 need to but some most weeks I would like to do one art two games and one other 
stream. That's why I thought like four days would be better. Um, Cause like if I want to do a Duolingo stream, uh, I could have like one Duolingo, one art and two games. If I want to do a reaction stream again, which I don't, they made me really nervous. I don't think I'm going to do it unless it's a special location. Um, but if I want to do like just chatting or if I want to do a tier ranking or if I want to do, you know, those special locations, those other special streams. We could finally, like, have a very perfect spot for them, so... Um... I am 80 years old. Are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, thanks for the stream, have a good evening! I feel like I'm getting a pink snake overdose! <laughs> well, I hope... I mean, you said that you wanted... You, you, you were one of the people who said that you would be happy with me streaming more, so I hope you meant it, because now it's happening! <laughs> Since the stream early simple, I'll try to catch the stream earlier next time. Don't worry about it. Shush, don't st stop worrying about it. Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day, everyone. Whatever you're doing next after this, I hope it goes great. Don't forget to sleep seven to nine hours. Don't forget to stretch, drink water, eat nutritiously. And most importantly, be kind to yourself and others. All right. Uh, this is great. Have a great day. All right. Take care, my snake shifters. Bye-bye!